This video, we're going to show you how to utilize the document camera in a seventh generation classroom. The first thing you need to do in a seventh generation classroom is to turn on the overhead projector. To do that, on the control panel, you will see the on button. You press the on button, and it will be, it takes about 15 seconds for it to warm up. Uh, during that time, you can then go ahead and start figuring out which source that you want to utilize with the overhead projector. Now, for powering on the Elmo, you need to go to the power button, which is usually red, press it down, it will turn green, and the Elmo will come on. The next thing is on the controller, you do need to locate the document cam button and switch source to document cam. Now you're ready to work with your Elmo document camera. Now I'm going to cover some of the basic features which you can get to any of these things just utilizing the Elmo and the buttons on it. First thing, you may have some issues with the plate itself where somebody's just not going to skew. So you're going to want to get the plate sort of squared up before you put your document on there. Once you have it squared up, place your document and have it showing what part you want to show. Once you have that place up here on the Elmo, you can turn a knob here that allows you to zoom in and zoom out on your document. So here I'm going to zoom in so they can really read this here. Okay. At this point, I may want to adjust the brightness and contrast here. So if this doesn't seem bright enough, I might up the brightness. Uh, there's another button for lowering it. They're you can find right here at the front of the Elmo. All right, another really nice feature uh, is that if you want, you can actually pause the image on the screen. This is great if uh, the students are going to take a lot of notes. There's a button right here in the middle, and when you press it, it pauses it, and I can sit there and shift all I want, and you can see that the uh, image stays still. Then when you're ready for to press forward, you press the button again, it will unpause it, and now you can move the paper to another location. All right, so those are some of the basic features. If you have uh, any problems with focusing, there is an autofocus here uh, that should help it or readjust it for focusing, but it should do it automatically. Now, when you are done, if you're utilizing a thumb drive, don't forget to take it. And uh, when you're done, please press and hold the power button and it will change from blue to red and now the Elmo is off. Okay, one troubleshooting with the document camera is occasionally you might find that the HDMI cable has been dislodged. So, if you're not getting the image like you expect, do check to see that the HDMI cable is firmly plugged into the back of the Elmo. Another troubleshooting, a lot more rare, but it can happen. These buttons over here, uh, these little switches, Someone might be messing around and they're switched all the way to the right. If that happens, you need to turn the Elmo off and flip them all the way to the left. Both switches should be all the way to the left. That's all you need to know. So make sure they're all the way to the left. Then you can turn it back on. It'll reset the Elmo and you should be good to go. Now, for turning off the overhead projector, you do need to wait until you're completely done with your presentation. Turning it on and off multiple times during your lesson can shorten the life of the overhead projector's bulb. So wait until you're entirely done, and when you are, simply press the off button, and the machine will begin to power off and cool down.